last week we developed a uh, power apps app uh, which also have some power automate things are there uh, for some notifications and i thought i'll share with you so that you can uh, you know import that solution and you can use it uh, so with that uh, let me tell you that we have the complete setup like uh, the powershell script also there uh, which will um, you know which will help you to uh, create all the list which are required and also uh, we have the solution file which you can import and uh, we have a, a, a you know readme file where you can uh, go through it and also installation video uh, which you can go through and then you can uh, follow the step by steps uh, to install it and in case you face any issues um, then you can let us know so we'll try to help you and in this video i'll explain what are the features are available on this i'll just give you a overlook on that i'll also show you in the laptop uh, like what are the features are available on this uh, so that you can try it out and if you want to learn uh, power apps then definitely here uh, there are a lot of things that you can learn on this uh, we have put a lot of validations a uh, lot of logics uh, gallery control filter all these things uh, we have used on this now uh, let me tell you what are the screens basically we have created on this uh, we have forms like register form where uh, people can register having uh, by providing the first name last name email address uh, you know phone number company name department job title address like this and it has a lot of validations like email address uh, uh, phone number a particular validation first name last name should not be blank and all these things uh, are there so if you want to learn definitely this will help you on that same way uh, like we have also uh, you know forget password login screen uh, forget password where you can provide your email address and though uh, it will send a link to your email and you can uh, from there only you can reset the password so uh, yeah of course you will uh, you will understand what it is and then uh, we have also a dashboard screen uh, where uh, uh, you will be able to see uh, you know how uh, uh, two views in fact you can see one is the um, uh, you know admin view uh, let's say you are an admin then you can see some more options into it uh, for example you can set or remove admin access uh, and then you can remove users those things you can do and uh, uh, the other one is the normal user view um, in the dashboard if you are logging with an admin you will be able to see the registered users for today uh, you know uh, how many uh, total users has been registered and uh, you know monthly weekly like this are there and uh, uh, also you can change email address if you want uh, you can change email address it will check uh, the email address should exist uh, should not exist before i mean uh, not used anywhere then only it will allow you to um, you know to change the email address same way uh, uh, when you will go to the register user screen you i'll show you in the in the demo as well uh, there you will be able to see like uh, uh, you know you can have the filter so you can you will be able to see all users today this week last week uh, last month this month all this in data are there uh, total users also it will show you can see details of the users uh, where you can uh, you know you can edit from there uh, like uh, but uh, you cannot edit the email address field or password field user id field we, uh, where we are generating the user id from the power automate uh, and it will send uh, you know send a email address whenever you will register so those things you will be able to see there the option is there also if you are admin then you can see the options where you can set other users as admin so those uh, those kind of options are there so let me just go through the system now and then uh, you know i'll show you all the functionalities and i'll put the link in the video description where you can fill your email address and then you will get uh, the complete project complete package on your uh, email address so uh, and also if you want to learn sharepoint we have the bundle now where uh, we have all the complete courses as well as we will uh, we will add five around products into this products in the sense uh, live request application for completely uh, you know we'll add that which where uh, you know that's a real time projects same way uh, there are uh, you know survey list is there so a couple of uh, projects will come our products will come in uh, next two months uh, and uh, so if you will log in uh, you know you, you, you can access that now so i'll put the link also where you can uh, you know access that course and uh, you will get those things also free so in case you are preparing for job or something uh, or you want to um, you know you are, you are working on some technology and then you are now want to move to power platform or something then this products will definitely help you because it has the complete logic and everything implemented on that 
so uh, now let's go to the system and then i will show you the uh, you know the apps how it looks like okay before going to the uh, power apps app uh, let me first show you the sharepoint site because back end we are using sharepoint and here you can see a couple of important list and again uh, for this also we have a powershell script which you can uh, will get in the uh, in the uh, when you download it and you can run it so uh, again uh, that installation uh, video you can have a look at it or the readme file you can look at it so now for this you see here registration user registration here user id password file first name last name phone number uh, email id department company name job title address set as admin and uh, remember me so um, remember me will be used while uh, uh, you know setting up the user uh, when user login and then user status so by default it will be zero and one will be when the user will be uh, removed and uh, deleted so for that functionality we have used it then you can see uh, this TS info uh, user authentication data here uh, this will be required uh, when you are trying to reset the password so when you will do forget password you will get an uh, email uh, and uh, so that time we are using it so the next list is uh, TS info user registration admin settings here few settings are there so this one this uh, this will be used in the deep linking uh, meaning when you will uh, let's say forget the password so when it will go and then user will click on that it will open the uh, that screen so for that purpose we are using it and uh, uh, by the way when you download and then check this uh, app you will be able to understand this more and then uh, uh, add, uh, user id prefix so we are actually generating a user id the prefix is ts you can see it here i'll just quickly show you like ts48151 so we are generating this right so for that uh, you know according to your company you can provide things and then uh, this is regards so uh, basically this will be the email uh, and then uh, say send as for from which email id you want to send and then there is a logo because we want to put the logo in the apps right so now what i'll do here is i will open the power apps app you can see here i am in the uh, make.powerapps.app and then here uh, you can see this is shared with me uh, here you can see i'll just play it once you will play with it you can see here uh, okay i need to refresh it you can see it here now uh, see this is the logo and uh, this is the login screen and you can see uh, we have a information icon if you click on this then uh, you can see this is what are the screen and uh, you'll get an overview of what this app is doing you can look at it here and then uh, you can see if you are not registered uh, you can click on this and then you can register here there are a lot of validations as i said uh, those things are there i'll um, i'll do the registration later but now then you can see here user id uh, then uh, password you can provide the user id password you can click remember me which uh, the functionality next time you'll put the user id then password will be auto populated and then you can see the password from here then forget password in the forget password you can see email you put the email and then the email will go uh, so what i'll do here is i will just log in to this i'll uh, take my id here so i just put it and then this is the password so i just put it here and then click on login so once you log in you can see it here i log in login successful notification is coming and this is the dashboard um, and here you can see there are uh, i'll be able to see my name first of all is populating i'm admin you can see it here and this is the logout screen if i log out i'll go over there into the uh, in the login screen and then uh, total 43 users today we have registered 43 this week 43 of course we for we have added some test data so you are able to see uh, you know um, everything today then view profile if i'll click on view profile i'll be able to see all these things you can see it here email id is uh, disabled here user id is disabled password disabled you cannot do it from here uh, but other things you can do it and then click on save same way you can edit it uh, sorry you can edit and then click on save things will be uh, edited here and then you can uh, see here right so these are the things which you can uh, do and then if i'll delete then the record will be deleted and i'll be moving back to the login screen and then you can see here same way view all user details um, as an admin, I can see all these things. You can see it here. Uh, 
so first of all total count 43 all today i uh, will be able to see all the records this week again uh, this uh, last week there is no users were there last month no users this month uh, this many users are there so we can also filter like here let's say i'll go to human resource i can see this is the job title uh, we are displaying first name last name department and then uh, this is the job title and then i can make uh, admin so if i want to make someone admin i can set it and it will ask a confirmation i'll say yes the you can see here now i can remove it so if i'll click on remove then the user will not be an admin so that functionality is there you can also uh, search on uh, the name so suppose i will uh, type on this one so you can see here so you'll be able to type and then it will show you the um, you know filter things so that is there another important thing you can see it here the paging so we have the pagination as well so 10 20 30 records whatever you want to you can do it and then uh, this is the first record uh, previous record and then uh, next record next page and then the last page so that's how the paging will be there so you can see it you, can, you will be able to go and last page will be like this first page will be like this you can see it here right so this is how you can uh, see over here and uh, also here you can see click on view and you will be able to see the as admin you will be able to see these details you can see it here and then if i want to delete i can delete it from here also right so now let me go back to so same way uh, like let's say you are in the dashboard page and you want to uh, you know change the email address you can see uh, you need to put the uh, you know old email address it will check if the old email uh, address is not exist then you cannot do it and then if it is there you can provide new email and uh, you know confirmation email and this these things are also you know all the validations are there so you'll be able to see and uh, once everything is there then you can change the email address same way uh, you can uh, set or remove admin it will come to the same uh, screen and uh, um, if you want to change the password you can put your old password new password those things you can do and then you can change the password so uh, this is how we can do on as a admin view uh, so if i will log in with a um, with a user who is not an admin then uh, you know you will have a different view let me just quickly show the registration form as well the apps in a, another user now you can see it here uh, like this is an inconvenient window i open and uh, here you can see uh, this is on user 3 you can see here right so user 3 is there so on this uh, if i'll click on share with me this is the app so i'll just open it and uh, let's see how it will come up you can see it here it is asking me to you know allow these connections so i will refresh it once so i'll click on allow and uh, now you will see here uh -huh. i will go here and i'll do a registration so i'll say user three um okay we have a uh, have a restrict, uh, validation on that so and then i'll put the email address uh, okay so phone number also has a validation like uh, if you are not putting it is okay if you are putting then you have to put it in the in this format else it will not work so i don't want to put it and uh, then uh, you know you can choose the department let's say it you can provide the uh, you know uh, you can provide the job title as well so i put it and then i'll click on register now what will happen is you you can see here you will uh, see a successfully registered message but behind the scene what we are doing is our flow will trigger which will generate a, a, a id uh, basically uh, and then it will also create the password and it will mail you so i'll just quickly open the email address okay now you, you can see here uh, this is the uh, you know uh, uh, email you can see it here and user and pass user id and password is there and you can click here and then you can log in from here now you can see here so i'll just take the user id on this you can see it and i'll put the password 
and I'll say login. Now you can see here, I am not an admin in this case. So I'll not be able to see this thing. So, and if I'll make the user as admin, then I'll be able to see this. Right. And this is the option. Like here, user can view their profile. They can change, they can edit it. So you can see here, they can edit their information. So all this information are populating and you can see this. So yeah, this is how you can, uh, you know, uh, uh, work with this user registration app. There are a lot of logics are there. I will highly suggest that you export the solution, use it. I have the complete uh, video also there, which uh, explains how we can step by step install this app and use it. Uh, also, you, you there you will be able to see the flow, everything you will be able to see on that. So, and if you want to download it, uh, you know, uh, down uh, in the link is uh, in down below, and then you will be able to uh, download it uh, the entire solution, entire package, including the Power Cell script and uh, you know the solution which will contain your Power Apps app and also the Microsoft Flow. So, and also if you want to learn SharePoint uh, completely, then uh, do check out our complete uh, course, uh, which will include also the uh, products. This is one product which we are giving out for free. The other products will be paid products and we'll have more functionality than this. I'll make similar kind of videos also. Now, if you'll, uh, you know, currently if you'll, uh, you know, try to access the training course, then you will get uh, those uh, products also free on that. So, uh, do check those things also. I'll put uh, the link in the video description. Thank you and have a nice day.